got a good response and very happy having um, happy with the highest of 39 percent. This is for the um, college students. So they'd be like happy to see them like either gift anything like that. But overall, they'd be happy. Um, very happy with following that and mutual disappointment. Very unhappy. It's pretty low, which is good. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, tell us about your reaction to Candy Pizza. Um, we have like a great response with enthused and excited with the college students. Um, so the dislike and wouldn't be excited or, and this was an open-ended question, so we went through it and most people like had good things to say about it. They were like, oh, it's great, it's cool. Um, the torn was more like they wanted to tweak the idea. They were unsure about it. Um, and it was only 12%, so that's great. Was it also the product or was it the, bo the prefix? There was something, with, it was a couple of responses about the box in particular, I think, in that. Was that the one that a had the... A lot of people did comment on the, the box, box itself. Right. It's a good concept, but it needs to really showcase Which that we knew, but right. Like a molding of an actual piece. Right. But then your cost gets thrown into it, and everybody wants it to be cheaper. How are you going to customize boxes and make them all pretty? And then <laughs> you got to be selling enough of them. Right. Uh, We've actually bought blank boxes for stickers. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Which is pretty yeah. Yeah. very, very reasonable. Yeah. 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 It was a market. Yeah. Yeah. It got me thinking there. Right then. Okay. <laughs> So since it was an open-ended question, these are just some of the comments that we had. Um, the keywords that we um, found throughout all the comments was that it was thoughtful and that they were excited for it. Um, for the dislike, the ones that didn't like the product, so that they appreciated the thought, but it's not something really that they wanted. Is there any way you know if those are the people who didn't like candy? Because wasn't there a whole, like, it was... Some people that were in, in the dislike, they were like, I don't like candy, so this must be for headaches. But, but when they said that they thought it was like a thoughtful idea, I put it under torn okay. because like they still like this, this wasn't for them. Yes, in Qualtrics, you can easily go in and just take out all the people who say they don't like candy and analyze the findings without those people in it. Right. That wasn't one of the cuts that we did, but it was an easy right. one to do. And Brittany and I did um, messages and promotion. And one of the questions was, how effective would each of the following methods be to promote candy pizza to college students, which you want to try and get into the college student market? Mm -hmm. um, the top three was free sampling to organization, free raffle of candy pizza prizes, and tabling in student um, center with discounts, which being college students ourselves, a lot of the times, um, when we see that they're sampled out and when they're displayed products, we are more likely to go to them to make sure that, you know, it's good to try it out. And once we realize what the product is, a lot of the times we are more inclined to buy it. Is that very ineffective, the first column? It's supposed to be very ineffective? Yeah. And then it's, yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah, um, we found though that um, these three are very effective in okay, sampling to college um, students. With those findings, we were able to see that what the students that were most likely to buy these products are the students that would be more engaged and do free sampling. Like, for example, the organizations that we have on campus, that's one way you can be able to promote word of mouth, when the organizations are the ones who are having the free samples and giving it out to their members. Um, these are some of the statistics that we found. Tabling in student centers, for example, Kessel, on one day when there's common hour, that's a great way to be able to have the product out there, have the students more engaged. You can be able to come and engage with the students as well as show off your product. Um, next question is, please rate how effective each of the following messages would be in convincing you to purchase candy pizza. Um, the most effective that we found was it will make the recipient smile. So when we do start round writing, going through the creative process, um, then uh, we can message in that sense. Actually, your highest score there is easy to purchase. Oh, we get to do purchase. Oh, yeah, yeah, and that, sorry. <laughs> and um, that one too, because since we can market online, um, that's where we spend most of our time, and parents as well, and we could um, have them order through there. A lot of the, a lot of the times, like now is the generation, everything is needs to be made easier, so when you can purchase something on just by a click of a button, it makes it more convenient for the person and more inclined to want to order something, even if it's something small.
small, a lot of people don't really think like, okay, you know, I can just go online and buy it rather than having to go to a store, pick it out, choose what I want. It's easier to just be able to go online, click, have a few clicks of a button and have the product that you want. What jumped at me most about this conclusion is that two out of the top three reasons are the easiness and convenience of it. Which it's a back huge back. part of the message that they're looking for, and you'll see it again in other parts of the presentation. Which goes back and this is from just the parents, or is this from everybody? This is from everybody, yes. That goes back to why people want to go to stores and buy the diet right. and change your thing. Right. Um, the next These are from, like, yeah, likely to buy. These are the, for, uh, as a total, a sample, the message effectiveness of what candy pizza promotes. Um, the delivery is fast and reliable. That's something that is a big part of advertising promoting because when it's something so reliable, you're, you become more loyal to the product. You become more inclined to want to purchase the product more often when you see that it's more reliable, it's something that you can depend on, it's something, that's something that you can see happening more often. Um, but as well as it gives it easy to send and purchase. Again, you know, something that's more convenient to people, they're more inclined to want to buy. So you um, saw, if you could just go back, so the top two, Okay. For the people who said they would be likely to buy the product, these are all the people who said likely or very likely to buy. The top two yeah. reasons are this well. convenience aspect, so that's really huge, and I think that will color a lot how we start working the creative. And the next question is, what other messages would be important to you in convincing you to purchase candy pizza as a gift or for yourself? This was an open-ended question, so we tried to categorize. Um, the answers, and from the answers, these were the most customizable, personable, and also cheap. Um, in the likely to buy category, the most important responses were it would be a good gift, it's one of a kind, um, served for any occasion at a reasonable price. And uh, one interesting idea, which was mentioned before about joining for a cause, um, I thought that was interesting because that would just be able to get us out there with fundraising, mm -hmm. either on college campuses or with camps, um, things like that. Um, next one, what promotion would be most effective in getting you to try candy pizza? Um, free shipping, of course, because mm -hmm. everyone loves to buy things online and, and get the shipping part for free. Um, discount coupon code and upgrades to larger size for um, an extra dollar. Especially with the free shipping, not a lot of people want to pay. It's hard for people to want to buy something, so when you have a free incentive as like free shipping, it makes them more, I guess, drawn to it. As well as the discount coupon code, you know, in the Westchester area, a lot of the towns have those, um, the newspapers, mm -hmm. that the local newspapers, having promotional coupons in there in the back, in like circulars and whatnot. It'll be, they'll, you know, for example, my mother, she keeps a lot of those, and she goes to the back and she sees those coupons. Those are things that she uses, and they can use to go to their advantage for their kids and other other promotional ideas and um for like we were going on with the other promotions um although the other category wasn't as high but the thing that they did write was the buy one get one free um a dessert with a pizza purchase so maybe if you could link up with a pizza shop mm -hmm. and add candy not included in the theme just like a little spontaneity type thing you know like you get a sour you know uh care package and then you get like maybe a little chocolate sample of a chocolate loving pizza as far as the likely to, to promote, the likely to buy promotions, the free shipping again was something that was really big for them. Um, what we got from out of the, the, all of the consensus is that free shipping is something that is what they want. They see that they like the product and just added something that as an incentive as free shipping, it makes them more inclined to want to stay with the product and to want to continuously buy it because we feel that it's important to not just have the customer buy the product, but to continue to have them buy the product. So uh, the next couple of questions deal with media usage and search keywords. Uh, this question was at asking the participants to rate how effective each method of media would, would be in sparking their interest in candy pizza. And I thought that this was really good for us because uh, coupon and print media and print advertising were the two, the two big hits. And most of our ideas when we, uh, when we think creatively for candy pizza are in the form of print, of print advertising. You know, something you can see on paper, like a lot of cartoons that type stuff. You know, mm -hmm. kind of like a menu. Right. Yeah. Something like that. Like and, if, and if we found something like that, we could flip it in local newspapers, school newspapers. You know, that's that's a whole. And in the pizza boxes. Exactly. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> next um, and then the next question was, what keywords might you search for on Google? Uh, what, what do you think would 
pop up and make sense for candy pizza. And these are from respondents who said they would buy a candy pizza for their son or daughter, mm -hmm. which is kind of our target demographic, I would think. And uh, candy, pizza, and package were all um, pretty popular words, which is pretty self-explanatory, but I think that that's definitely what we need to focus on, and maybe we make those the keywords, the keywords on our website. Thank you.